Hello everyone, my name is Darina Satchu, and today we will discuss a controversial book about management and leadership written by Dr. Jeffrey Pfeffer called What Were They Thinking? Unconventional Wisdom About Management. Dr. Pfeffer is an exceptional management author who has written over 13 books. He received his bachelor's and master's degree from Carnegie Mellon University and his PhD from Stanford. He is the professor of organizational behavior at the Graduate School of Business at Stanford University, where he has taught since 1979. Dr. Pfeffer has published extensively in the fields of organization theory and human resource management. He has received numerous awards for his accomplishments. He also received the Richard D. Irwin Award presented by the Academy of Management for Scholarly Contributions to Management. His current research focuses on the effects of work environments on human health and well-being, power and leadership in organizations, evidence-based management, the knowing-doing gap, and how thinking of time, like money, affects people's choices about spending time in ways that promote unhappiness. This book, What Were They Thinking?, is based on a series of columns Pfeffer wrote for the magazine Business 2.0. In it, he covers a wide range of topics, from people-centered management strategies to creating effective workplaces, using power strategies, thinking differently about success, executive pay, and corporate ethics. Pfeffer covers a lot of ground in this short read. The purpose of this book is to provide management advice, provide examples, insight, and data to help companies make better decisions. It provides guidelines on how to think critically on important management issues. All in all, the message of the book is to think before you act. Pfeffer organizes the lessons into three themes. One, failure to consider unintended consequences, two, reliance on naive theories of behavior, and three, ignorance of obvious answers. Here are some of his propositions. Treat people well and you will do better as a firm. Be honest, talk to people, walk around and see for yourself what is going on. Act on your realistic assessments of how people really live and work. Use evidence and data well. These may sound simple, but they are all underutilized practices in many large firms today. Something that Dr. Pfeffer has the guts to point out in this book. And when these points are supported with humor, goodwill, and many years of experience, they provide one of the most useful books targeted towards managers, business owners, organizations, and corporate leaders, which ties into some of the strengths of this book. Dr. Pfeffer packs a punch in each of his 28 short and easy read chapters. You also do not have to read it in order and can jump straight into the chapter of your interest. Again, it provides humor, goodwill, and good organizational advice to managers and leaders. Some of the weaknesses in this book is that it ends abrupt, abruptly with no conclusion and critique of uh, opposing viewpoints is slightly lacking. Overall, the author does a fantastic job achieving his objectives. The book argues that most managers fail because they diligently follow common management practices, which are sometimes flawed. He also challenges managers to throw out controversial wisdom and to think harder and more strategically about what's right for their companies. Who should read this book? Students, practitioners, managers, business owners, and experts. Pretty much anyone interested in management and leadership. This book could improve if it included a better critique of opposing viewpoints and by providing a conclusion 
following the chapter about corporate misdeeds in order to tie the whole book together. Overall, this book was a great read, and you should get your copy today. Thank you for your time, and are there any questions?